In this tutorial, I wanted to show you the multiplace inside of InDesign CS5. New in InDesign CS5, you can now place multiple images really quickly and easily into one single frame. Let me show you how. First, we're going to go to the File menu, come down to Place as usual. I'm going to select all of the images that I want to place. I'm going to click Open. Now, previously, we've always been able to drag these out in their own frames like this and placing them all in one go. What you can do now is you can drag out one big frame for all. So if I drag out here, and I'm gonna click on Shift to be able to scale this in any way that I want. I'm gonna fill this like this, and I'm gonna hit, while holding down Shift, I'm gonna click my up arrow key. This is gonna, as you see, create, create a divider here in the middle of the selection. And what I can do here is, is continue with the up key and create even more. So I can say do four of these. I can have four cells, one, two, three, four. And if I let go, it's gonna fill my four images into these frames. Now this doesn't look particularly good. So what I can continue doing is, is right click on this because it's automatically selected all of these frames. What I can do now is right click, go to my fitting commands and fill frame proportionally. And what I have now is a very nice photo layout. And using the quick mover here and re repositioning tools, I can go ahead and drag this up here. And I can position all of these images the way that I want them to appear. Making sure I click in the middle here so I move the, the contents of, of the frame instead of the frame. And really simply, you see, we've created this multi-photo design by, by just using the place command in the new multiplies. Now you can of course do it the other way. So if I again go to file place, comma, uh, keyboard shortcut command D or control D on the PC, I'm gonna click open to the same set of images and if I drag them out in this this ver um, horizontal direction here, if I hold down my shift key again, I can freeform this and using the left and right arrow key, I can add or remove dividers here, making a pretty much a table here from right to left and I can fill this in here. Again, I can use my fitting commands if I want to create a photo layout or I just do in any way that I want anything else. So this is the new multiplace inside of InDesign CS5. It's really simple now to be able to to place images, do it very quickly and create some stunning layouts and some stunning placements inside of templates.